What's going on my fellow X-Meta and Bebop guys? I'm going to do a quick tutorial on Faction Warfare missions for those of you that have never done them or are curious about them. For the purpose of this video we're going to do a level 3, uh, but they're all pretty much the same. Um, you're going to have to start out with level 1. I'm you running them at a fleet. That's the closest place to my home in Nisua. Uh, you just need to find the IFDU station nearest you and head over and pick up level 1 and start them out. For level 1's I went with an Astero. Um, the Kovops cloak really helps with the traveling around from site to site to do the missions. That's the biggest risk you're going to be in in my opinion is actually traveling um, all over to do the missions themselves. The most efficient way to do it is actually to jump in a Inti in my opinion and put warp speed rigs on it and fly all around and pick up about 15 to 20 of those missions so you can do them all in one sitting take you a couple hours and you with level threes that'll net you somewhere around 200,000 LP quite a bit of money for just a couple hours worth of work uh, for this video we're just gonna do one mission we're just gonna do a level three and we'll accept it here this one's in Timo pretty good six jumps away not too bad like I said though that won't matter as much when you're picking them all up at once because once you get all of them um, pick up whatever ship you're gonna use you'll only have to make two or three jumps usually at a time before you will find a mission site uh, some systems you'll even have a couple to do there for this mission I'm gonna use the Ishker um, I actually hate this ship for PvP but for running these missions it's pretty decent show you the fit here real quick before we head out I went blasters and drone damage amp I like the drone damage because it's gonna be on all the time and these rats do jam that's the biggest issue with these gal faction warfare missions is the jamming uh, so I went with an ECCM and a sensor booster it will help with that it won't stop all the jams but luckily with drones they'll still be doing damage um, other than that I rounded it out with the AB um, I like the MWD to get onto the target quick and get out and that's going to be a personal preference but for me it really hurts the cap um, and it takes me from being cap stable when I'm not running my AB to um, you know just a couple minutes of cap use so I went with a small cap battery uh, just that way I don't have to carry cap booster charges and lose money from doing it that way had to go with ions for power uh, in the lows, I went with uh, drone damage. Uh, I did bling out the repper a little bit. It's got a C-type on it. And then I tanked for the mission, so Ken Therm. And I got an energized adaptive and a T2 thermal membrane. For my rigs, I went with a T2 nano pump. So the ship does have a couple of expensive items between the one T2 rig and the repper, but not, not crazy. And then I had to fill it out with that semiconductor memory cell to just finish off my cap. The longest part of these missions is absolutely going to be travel time from place to place. That's why the co-ops really, really makes a difference. That's typically what I used. Um, actually, when I did the T3s and 4s myself, I ended up running the T3s and a Proteus. That was okay, um, but it's it's kind of overkill for these T3s, so this Ishker will actually do it just fine. A lot less risk for your members that don't have a ton of money to put into a ship like that. Stratios works well as well for the threes um, and the fours too if you bling it out a little bit. Fours can be pretty damn tough. You may have to bring a friend but uh, I was doing them in the Proteus with a little bit of bling on them. Stratios same thing. You could probably do it. You just have to bling it out quite a bit. But for general line members and for newer players that just need some solid income this is way, way, way more lucrative than just sitting in a Plex. Uh, if you want to PvP and you want to get fights out of it, then obviously Plex fighting is the way to go. But this is absolutely make you a lot more money, even just doing L3s. Warp drive active. Hopefully we'll speed this part up in editing, but this is uh, definitely the dull part of it. Like I said, you can use an NT when you pick up all the missions. Just grab the agent finder and system station and add a waypoint for each uh, FDU station you want to go to pick them up. I try to avoid, I think there's one or two that actually are in high sec. I try to avoid those and stay strictly in low. I know I'm Nate 10 and a lot of you faction warfare guys will be too and that can cause some real problems.
most of the missions that you're going to run into are going to kind of all be the same. Uh, they're going to be rush in, kill one or two targets, then get out. The most annoying one, in my opinion, is going to be the reactor killing mission, where there's kind of a paw shield. For that mission, you're going to be 12, 14k away from the target. Luckily, most of the main systems where people live don't seem to actually get the missions too often. Seems like a lot of times they're in backwoods systems where people don't go a ton. Yeah, Teemo's definitely one of them. I don't spend a lot of time over there when I'm PvPing. Looks like a party in here. Snuff's out and about. After you've gone and made yourself a sandwich, you'll finally arrive at your destination. Refrain from autopiloting. I usually keep the missions expanded here so I can click on it and warp straight to my destination. Looks like I do have one war target in here. Hard draw. I'm going to spend a lot of time on short range or 1AU clicking away. This ship is not great in a fight if somebody comes in and catches me. I'm slow and I have no way to control range at all, so eventually I will just die horribly. But looks like this guy's off doing something. probably won't bother us at all all right once we get in here this is going to be killing the industrials I'll burn straight away at them now, this is the reason that that an MWD is kind of nice when you start these missions you're always going to be 60 to 80 to 100 away so this part is actually quite a pain in the ass floating over to them to get them but it wasn't worth the sacrifice for me. So far, they're doing really, really light damage to me. I'm not even tanked for shields, so... Should be pretty straightforward. 45 is my drone range. We'll get the drones after him. Oop, forgot to turn on my ECCM. My drones are out there doing damage to him. 
we'll probably have the first target down and not even be out of shields. So I'm going to ignore the rest of these guys completely. I'm not going to sit here and clear the site or do any of that. And this will go much faster when we get in blaster range here. Damage isn't too much. I can't keep up with it. So I'm just going to go right in there, sit right in his face, and keep it range 500. I'm using Void just right up in his face to get this done as fast as possible. Start burning towards the next one. Looks like they're going to finally get us out of shields, but we're already almost through shields on the second target, so not too shabby. Now I am cap stable with this fit when my AB is not running, so I will probably start to run this here in a minute and just keep it on until I need to use my AB. Alright, on to the third target. If I can help it, I try to avoid doing any kind of using heat or anything. You don't want to spend money when you're trying to make money, so... So far, nobody's come on short. Everybody's leaving us alone. And we're more than halfway done. There's a pretty good group of targets here shooting at us. We're having no problem tanking it. Most of them are going to be like this where you can tank them just fine. Next one's a little far away. We'll start burning towards him. drones moving Not the most riveting gameplay, but gets us what we need to do. Need to make that isk. Check marks on it, we're done. Pull drones. Start heading out. Then that's it. And we'll fly back to where our mission is. We can set it as the destination here. Six more jumps back, turn it in. Or, like I said, doing the other way, you'd have uh, a couple systems to go and go find the next one to do. They really are that easy. Uh, took us, what, 15 minutes to get here and get it done. Like I said, about two hours for the whole round of them if you want to go pick up 15 to 20 of them. 
and we just made about 10,000 LP from that. A little over 10,000 LP. Money ain't much, but the LP is totally worth it.